So in this video, I'm doing a review of the MX Credit Console from Logitech, their brand new programmable console. And I'm just gonna give you my honest opinion on sports. I've been using it for about three weeks now and I've been using it in all the Adobe apps. You know, you can use it in Premiere, Photoshop, Illustrator, basically everything. Now I also want to mention that they are offering a three month free subscription of Adobe Creative Cloud. So make sure you get this exclusive deal when you buy the MX Creative Console. You get three months complimentary membership to Adobe Creative Cloud. So you'll get all the apps for Adobe. I'm just gonna go through quickly the main construction and design of it. Um, it's pretty sturdy, like some bits feel a little bit plasticky, but overall like it feels pretty solid, nothing shakes inside or moves. And you've got some pretty tactile buttons. You've got an action ring here, you've got a nice roller. It's pretty smooth to use, like it doesn't like click or anything. Um, some people might not like, like that, but I think it's fine. It's pretty smooth to scroll through. You can see as I'm doing it, it's zooming in on my canvas in Illustrator, which is super cool. And then you've got this one as well. Um, this one is great for scrubbing the timeline in say Premiere, or you can customize it to different functions. Then you've got some more tactile buttons up here and you've got another button down here. So you can program all of these to do whatever you want really. So it doesn't matter what you do. And then you've got uh, this little, slide at the bottom with two batteries. So easy, you just slide it up and then you click it back in. And then you've got a button here so you can connect it to up to three devices. So say you've got a laptop on the side and you know, you've got a desktop, you can always just switch. And so this is the dial pad of the MX Creative Console. Then we've got the programmable uh, LCD pad screen. So you've got this little holder thing. It's got like a sticky silicon top material at the bottom so it doesn't like really move. Like it, it's pretty light by itself, but when you put this on it, you just slot it in like this and it basically holds it. Hopefully you can see there, it holds it in. And then you've got the USB-C plug at the back, which just plugs in to your PC. So for me, I'm just plugging it in th at the front here. Whenever you switch programs, so for example, say I'm gonna go into like Photoshop, you can see that the profile switches. So you can have all different profiles for each different application. Uh, for all the Adobe apps. Then when you click across, you can have up to 15 pages. So you can go back and forth and you can program any of the keys. You can even customize the icons if you're really that dedicated. It'll probably take some time, but for me, I just leave it as default. So if you meet Illustrator, you can see I've got like pen tool, type tool, we've got eyedropper, we've got save, export, we've got the align panel, you know, we've got compound path. Anything that I sort of use on a daily basis, I'll put on here. Instead of going through like three different menus, I'd rather just have one button press it, then boom, it changes. For example, say if I want to toggle screen mode, I can click that, and if you look at the screen, it will change that screen mode, and then maybe I want to export this logo or something. I can you know, go in here and click export, and then it's gonna go export, and I can save that file out to my folders. So really easy to use. The buttons feel you know, pretty tactile, like you feel a little click, and you can see, like I can read the text as well, it's pretty readable. So overall, I think the construction is pretty solid. Like it feels like decent quality. So the way I like to do it is I like to have um, the roller on the left hand side. So if I'm using my left hand, I can quickly press that. Um, other people might have it on the right side, which is fine. But I'll typically have the dial pad on the left and then this one next to my mouse. So say um, I'm working through something and I want to like, you know, maybe I want to align something or whatever. I can let's go to my align tool and I can make sure that this is all centered like this. And it's just really easy just to go like this and click, as you can see. So I'm moving my mouse like that. So for example, I've got this, these bunch of icons here. I'm just gonna go to the Logi options and you can see I'm in the dial roller. I can, you know, customize everything here. I wanna go and show you, for example, I can customize the keys. And if I just go click on this profile and I wanna find, say, the stroke or the width tool. So I can go to the menus and let's type in, say, stroke or something. We'll bring this one in. And now it's already added it into the programmable LCD here. I'm gonna select all the icons and we're going to select that now. And if I click reset, it's gonna reset it back to the default icons, which is cool. So that's a, a cool little trick. And so I can get Control Z, you go back. Now, another cool thing is you can use the actual action ring. So I'll show you what it does. So I'm gonna select these icons here and I'm gonna click on the action ring. Now in the action ring, you can see I've got all these options. In the Logi Options app, we can go there and if I go to the dial pad, I can customize the buttons. So this action ring, I'm gonna click on the AI profile and down the bottom, you wanna click on the action ring here, as you can see, and you can customize all these settings. So right now we've got adjust stroke, adjust opacity, um, change font, whatever. And we can change the effects. So we've got Illustrate effects. Uh, you can see, you know, apply all these styles. You can go to specific menus. So maybe you wanna transform this. Maybe you wanna sort of, maybe you wanna scale. Let's maybe, we can put scale there, which is cool. Now I'm gonna select all these icons. I'm gonna 
click the action ring. Wherever your mouse is, that's where it will open. And I'm gonna click the adjust stroke width here. So I'm gonna click and you can see it adjusted the stroke width and it increased it. So now the icons are more thicker. I'm gonna click the action ring, go to the stroke, and then as I use the roller, as you can see, it increases the stroke width for that icon. So we can go down or we can increase it really big and obviously it will go too big. But you can see we can increase the size there. Let me just uh, scale that up. So you can see, action ring, put your mouse over it and then we can scale the stroke, which is cool. So that's one of the ways you can adjust object opacity. So you put your mouse over it and we can, we can make it really light if we want, you know, and then we can maybe want to chuck that onto a design or something. We can go bring it in and uh, I don't know, put it on the website here or whatever. Um, and then I can increase the opacity there like that. Uh, we can also do scale as well. So we want to scale it. You know, we can do that as well. So you can really have, you have so much control over like what you can do here on the action ring and it works for Photoshop as well. So if I'm, if I'm in Photoshop, uh, press the action ring. You can see we've got uh, different ones here, um, like brightness. So maybe I want to go to the hoodie. I'm just gonna first go to the Logi options, click on Photoshop. And we've got brightness, contrast, exposure, vibrance, posterize, and hue saturation. So I'm gonna go to, let's go to the, the design and maybe I wanna go action ring and let's go with hue saturation here. And if I drag it, you can see it's increasing it and decreasing it. So now I can, if I go click save, it got rid of that blue color. And if I go back to the mock-up, you can see the middle, that middle section used to be blue, as you can see, and now we made it like, uh, we made it a gray color as well, which is super cool. Let's just say we've got this layer here. I can press the action ring and we can decrease the brightness or increase the brightness as you can see. So this is just a quick example. Yeah, cool, maybe you want like a uh, color balance or something. I'm gonna go select the layer, go color balance, and that's gonna add that adjustment layer here and then I can go in here and uh, you can use your, you can use the roller to actually scroll through the layers, which is cool. And maybe I want to adjust the colors. So now we can make it really like, I don't know, greeny or something. Which is super cool. We can turn that layer on and off. So it's really fun, really cool to use. Uh, maybe I want some, like a new layer. We can add layers. We can, uh, I can group layers together. Just makes it a lot faster to work with. And if you really want to download more things, uh, we can actually go to add profile and we can see application profile, or we can import different profiles as well. So I can go here and search all the different applications, which is cool. So we've got plenty of applications there. And say we wanna make a, a new profile, we can just click discover more on Marketplace, and we can see all the different profiles here that we already have there. Now I also want to mention that they are offering a three month free subscription of Adobe Creative Cloud. So make sure you get this exclusive deal when you buy the MX Creative Console. You get three months complimentary membership to Adobe Creative Cloud. So you'll get all the apps for Adobe. So we can go plugins as well. So you've got um, profiles and then you've got plugins. So I can install any of these plugins here, which is gonna save me massive amounts of time. Uh, as you can see, you know, you've got Streamlabs, Discord, Zoom meetings, whole bunch of cool stuff there. And I think it's really cool, it has a lot of flexibility. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Like it's a solid console that you can use, that you can program. It's really easy to use. And once you customize it to your liking, to your apps, it's gonna be way easier. Yeah, if you don't, do you wanna check it out, you can actually go on the Logitech website. They actually have it, you can buy it. I will put a link in the description below. And if you're a creative, if you're a photographer, designer, and editor, then it's perfect for you because it's gonna speed up your workflow. You know, you don't have to manually click menus and buttons and customize shortcuts. You can just do it all within that. And the cool thing is they actually have a marketplace where you can actually download pre-made profiles and it'll connect it directly to your app. So they've already built that for us. So I think that's a mad time saver. So yeah, definitely check it out. If you're someone that you know works from home or you work on design all day, running in business, then I think it's really good. So yeah, so hope you enjoyed this review. If you do want to see some more stuff about my workspace or other tech, you can check out this video here where I break down my whole workspace.